and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some more Chandra Tribal. Now this was probably my most popular YouTube video that I've ever had was the first time that we played Chandra Tribal and for good reason. It was a whole lot of fun. Um, and uh, yeah, it was just, it was a lot better than expected also, just putting all of the Chandras into the deck. Uh, we weren't expecting it to be really good, but it, it ended up um, impressing quite a bit. Now, yesterday I played this uh, version of Chandra Tribal um, as well. And this version, we, we we're kind of moving away from mono red and I was splashing blue here for the sideboard negates to help us out against the, the big powerful effects in the format. Um, you know, like your mass manipulations and your command the dread hordes and stuff like that. Um, and just, you know, against control decks and everything. So we have the negates in the sideboard, which I, I like them. Um, so we're going to do that again. Unfortunately, that video from yesterday uh, didn't end up recording, which was, uh, you know, really unfortunate. So we didn't get to have that up on the YouTube channel. Uh, it was a really good video. We played it in ranked, uh, played it in diamond, and we went three and two, which is very good, which is exactly what we want to be doing, you know, getting winning 60% of the matches there. That's a success for sure. And so that's that's the goal whenever we play our decks in ranked is to try to go three and two. And unfortunately it didn't go up there. So I'm gonna put in the YouTube video here, I'm gonna put a link to my Twitch VOD, uh, which always saves, uh, which you can see if you wanna watch more of the deck. Cause those five matches went back and checked, took like close to two and a half hours. It was over two hours. Uh, they were very long matches and everything yesterday. And uh, some, re some really good ones. Um, so you can go back and watch that. Some of the VOD is muted though, um, but other parts aren't like the ending part. If you're somebody that likes uh, how we like talk about the deck at the end of the video, uh, the ending part of the video wasn't muted. I went and checked that where we talked about a lot of different cards. Um, but anyway, the, we, uh, I'm making two changes since the deck since yesterday. If you were here yesterday, if you saw it, we we did we are putting in the fourth regulator because the games that we have regulator to the games that we don't have regulator kind of act a lot different, and this card's just really strong. So I'm putting in the fourth one over the fourth Ember Kitty. Ember Kitty is the kind of card that I so I like this in the deck more than Steamkin. We talked about this yesterday, but I like this in the deck more than Steamkin because you can play your Ember Cat on turn two and then immediately go to four mana Chandra on turn three which is pretty powerful or, you know, get to your six mana Chandra earlier where Steamkin, you have to play it and then you have to play three other spells before you get to add any mana. And that's just kind of too long. Like we're, we're trying to be fat, you know, ramping a little faster than that. Um, however, I do sideboard out the Ember Cat against almost everything. Like I sideboard out a lot and that's not really, and that's not, bad that doesn't mean that it shouldn't be in the deck it's the kind of card that its value goes down in post board games post board games we want more interaction for exactly what the opponent's doing the opponent wants more interaction for what we're doing uh the games just kind of go longer uh, as a result and so speeding up your mana on turn two to have four mana on turn three is a little less value valuable with a lot more interaction and uh instead you want to just have uh, cards that are better top decks uh, than the Ember Cat is. Um, so with that all being said, uh, let's see. Oh, one other change. I'm, I'm going to try an Ugin in the sideboard instead of the uh, the other artifact. We had a Silent Gravestone to stop uh, Command the Dread Horde, but now we have like Negates also, so we don't have to worry about Command the Dread Horde as much. We'll play an Ugin for like the control matchups, like those longer games that we can have. Speaking of a really good top deck. That's what Ugin is. Yesterday, our mobilized district hurt us more than helped us. There was multiple times where we couldn't play Chain Whirler right away because we had mobilized district and two other red sources. So it was, it was unfortunate. Um, so we're, we're still testing that card out. I'm still keeping it in there for now, but that's something to keep our eye out on. If we have, you know, if it, again, if mobilized district is um, hurting us more than helping us, then you know, maybe we should be taking it out and just having 25 red lands all together. Um, so uh, we're going to we're going to go ahead and go on over to ranked again here with Chandra Tribal. 
Um, heading on over to Diamond, that's where I'm at right now. And because uh, because this is a, a definitely a strong deck that we are um, excited about. And so we're, we're going to play five matches. And our goal with those five matches, again, is to go three and two, hopefully. So that's what we got. All right, Chandra Tribal. I think I should probably let's let's change our pro t profile. Anyone who stands in my way is getting yeah. sizzled. We gotta get more Chandra. Thanks so much for that sub, Millennium God. I appreciate that. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're having a good day. <laughs> oh yeah, Neebs. Awesome. Yeah, I'm doing very well. Hope you're doing well also. Uh, thanks for tuning in here. All right, we'll keep this. And we'll get rid of one of these three mana Chandra's. There you go. Long day at work. Time to wind down. Very nice. Alright, need to keep drawing some mountains. Our regulator does let us um, fix our draw steps, though, if we need to. Hmm. Yeah, we have a tribal, de tribal day today. Yep. Definitely have a tribal day today. I think I'm going to be discarding this Chandra Awakened Inferno to draw another card. Because unfortunately against Elementals, the minus three isn't doing a whole lot for us. Yesterday, I think one of our two losses was to the Elemental deck. Yeah. Uh, elementals are kind of tough for our Chandra tribal because we are, you know, based on elementals ourselves. All right, start getting some damage in. Not to brag, but I'm totally the best pyromancy student. Hey, oh, they're so cute. Yeah, the the I think our worst matchups with Chandra Tribal are the blue green Risen Reef decks. I think those are our worst matchups. Yeah, if we if we draw, uh, I guess it won't really be lethal next turn. We would need to we kind of need to untap with the the novice pyromancer. Oh, that's really unfortunate. And you're gonna get burned. I am not happy right now. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. So now that we have five mana, we can have the Novice Pyromancer. Why did they have to have another Risen Reef? <laughs> Today's not been not been my day, as you can see, a record from Five Color Reborn. Go get him, buddies. Ah. 
Uh, question is, do you favor Chandra Tribal or Big Red? Well, I guess Chandra Tribal. I don't really know what, what exactly the Big Red deck would be, but I, I don't know if... I don't know of a big red deck that's more powerful than this deck. It really hurt us with our other Chandra, the other three mana Chandra getting killed. I mean, I have to kill the Risen Reefs, but they still have a million cards. This city is so constraining. We need to be free. I would have preferred to be able to kill the Chandra, you know, originally, but gotta kill these things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this Chandra back on defense to protect my own. Hopefully I don't find Risen Reef number four. <laughs> well, Janini, the opponent is a huge, huge favorite. I am glad my opponent's playing Lightning Stormkin, Creeping Trailblazer. I'm glad they have those cards. Those are cards that are easier for us to deal with than them just going bigger. Uh, we can be bringing in our, I'm going our Flame Sweeps. So, I, okay, if you, don't, if you don't realize this, I cannot discard the Sulphur Falls to the Regulator. So I could discard the Triumph, but like, what am I doing if I discard Triumph? I'm I'm not beating this Chandra here. It's like, what I could Triumph the Trailblazer. I don't I don't have like a good draw for, draw right now. I guess I don't know uh, another novice Pyromancer. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. I, I had I did have one decent draw. There's only one other novice pyromancer in the deck, so that was really lucky drawing the sure the one novice pyromancer. On. I'm gonna try something new. Hmm. Okay. Well, that Let's that's gonna do quick. it. I've got other things to burn. The emblems. Probably. Yeah. Say hi to my fiery friends. Maybe not if they minus Chandra and don't give me an emblem. Keep it up and you'll get hurt. Powers <laughs> always lead Bye -bye. to destruction. That card is in my deck. <laughs> Magnificent. So the Chandra can kill the Sarkin again. But we'll have a 4-4 flyer. We're wanting to draw our own big Chandra and start giving them emblems. Yeah, Risen Reef's tough to beat. It's a it's just such a strong card. You know, they drew, like, six cards off Risen Reefs or, you know, something like that. I 
And it's just, it's just so many cards they drew. Six. Yeah, they drew six cards off Risen Reefs earlier. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever drawn Sarkin while, while playing the deck too much either. I guess I, yeah, I have drawn Sarkin a couple of times, but I've played the deck a lot. It's not a card you see that often. I help with your not being on fire problem. All right, well, now we're dead. Listen, what's impossible? Hmm. Silver Falls is not a mountain. You can only discard mountains, like we were just talking about earlier. Not discard that. All right, flame sweeps. Do I want like negates for their big? Planeswalkers. Hey, Dad Plays. Thanks for that sub. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much. Y'all have been so kind today. Thank you very much. We've gotten two more sub goals towards our next sub battle stream. Or no, sorry, towards our next 12-hour stream. That's right, our sub goals are going towards 12-hour streams. Sorry, my bad. All right, we're going to go like this. I think we have enough spot removal that we don't need more Lava Coils. Negate would be nice for Big Chandra or Nissa if they're playing that. But that's kind of all I want to be negating. I want to keep my, my Planeswalkers in, though, instead. And on the play, just try, try to get to my Planeswalkers. I'm playing 8 lands that I can't discard, not 12. I can discard Steam Vents. I, before playing these 8 lands, I was still playing 6 lands I couldn't discard with the Temples. So I have 2 extra lands that I can't discard now to be able to have Negates, and yes, it is worth it. Yeah, we're a mono, mono red deck that just has negates in it. Really hoping we draw this land and play, be able to play Fire Artist in the next turn. Also really hoping my opponent doesn't have Risen Reef. Alright, both of those happened. Go get him, buddies. They could be sitting on their own negate, but not super likely. Hmm. 
Guess so. It definitely feels like they have more counter magic. Don't worry. If I didn't have this backup Acolyte of Flame, I'd be adding a counter to help it be easier to stay alive. But I have the backup Acolyte of Flame 1, and 2, I'm, I'm one mana away from Awakened Inferno, giving them emblems. And so having uh, more more damage on them is, al is also more valuable. But yeah, they certainly have another counter spell, but thankfully the Chandra is uncounterable. Ugh, didn't draw the land. That was unfortunate. If we would have hit our land and been able to play Awakened Inferno, I really like way. our chance, but we didn't. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Living in a monastery full of firebrands? <laughs> Say hi to my fiery friends. Getting a little sweaty. Oh, Shockland. Get out of my way. I'm burning up here. Not too hot for you. Study, focus. I just want to burn stuff already. Not looking good for us. Would have just drawn that land a few turns earlier. I probably. Like, maybe I just shouldn't have played the, my 4-mana Chandra into their obvious counter magic. Maybe I should have had my own counter magic. Okay, well, we got a chance. That's not going to do it. Uh, we didn't really have a chance. I can kill these things, but the emblems kill kill me. Good hand opponent. They hit all their land drops. Got to counter spells along the way, hit land drops, and then play their Chandra on time. Unlike my Chandra, 
which had to sit sit around for a while. Okay, new game. <laughs> Looks like another Risen Reef deck. Ooh. Cool, maybe not. Maybe not a Risen Reef deck. Turned out our five color reborn really struggled against all flash creatures and counter spells, and that's that's all we played against all four rounds. And we know that our deck here is going to struggle against Risen Reef Elementals. And I was thinking, man, we're just going to play against that every single round now. <laughs> Kind of how today is going. Just whatever, whatever deck our our deck struggles against is what we play against it. Every round until this one. Now we have Nexus, which is better. I'd rather play against Nexus here. It's better for us. You cannot see your folly. I was not prepared for this. We want to draw six mana Chandra. Six mana Chandra giving them emblems is what we is really what we want. This this showed up because they, they put the Nexus over in their graveyard off the Ascanta, and so it shuffled back in. So they don't have a Nexus in hand, but it was shuffled back in there. Benefactor! Aw, oh, I love you too. Thanks for the sub there, Benefactor. Uh, they they don't really beat the emblems. Yeah, our Niv Mizzet deck is good. We just played against the same kind of matchup all four rounds. Just a aggressive green creatures with a bunch of counter spells. Well, at one time it was mono blue, but just you know. Cheap aggressive creatures with tons of counterspell backup, and that specific kind of deck gives gives Niv Mizzet a lot of trouble. And we just only played that one matchup all four times, and it's just kind of how life is. Karstanos getting the hype in there, also. Thanks, Karstanos. But y'all are more than making up for it here with all the subscribers, all the support today. Wish these were more lightning strikes. Say hi to my fiery friends. Definitely glad I'm playing four lightning strikes, three triumph. We're just happen to draw all the triumphs. Hey, what's up, Matthew? Thanks for that resub also. I appreciate that. That's number 23. 
We just need to draw Big Chandra. We got three of them in the deck. We just got to draw one here before they start, before they win the game. Can we find six mana Chandra? So we need Awakened Inferno. We need to Awaken Infernos. Or not. All right, so we'll see if we get another turn. Uh, we may not here. This this could be game. This looks like this is game. So they have two Ascant activations here. So very surprising they didn't activate Ascanta and that they just played Insight instead of activating Ascanta. They found that I'm just I'm just activating Ascanta because it just digs farther. And also doesn't use a card. Hey Storm, good evening. I mean even if they have Nexus in hand, it doesn't really make a difference like they should be they should still be activating the Ascanta with that four mana instead of spending a card like yeah they really should just be activating Ascanta on these turns they don't need they don't need to hit more lands they have 24 mana like how like, what else? <laughs> what else do you want from them? They have twenty-four mana. They get to use every turn. They need more lands. The land shall conquer you.
And they they discarded... Oh, no, they did not discard. Didn't they discard a land? Oh, no, I guess not. I thought they discarded a land for one of the insights. Ugh, they didn't. I was wrong. There they go. Okay, so we're going to have all of our negates. I need this, Chandra. Is Daredevil really doing anything? Like, you know, Daredevil Insight? Yeah, that's fine. that sounds fine. All right, so <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Daredevil cannot ever hit Nexus. Nexus doesn't go to the graveyard, so you can't. You can't have things that that deal with the graveyard deal with Nexus. Nexus. It's not like Nexus goes to the graveyard and sits in the graveyard for a little bit and then and triggers to get shuffled back in. It's just a replacement effect. Instead of going ever going to the graveyard, it just goes to the library. Unfortunately. So you can't have, like, Graveyard Hate try to attack Nexus. Alright, we need to get our land drops. I like having an Ember Cat to ramp. They can certainly win post board against Awakened Inferno because they can just play like Biogenic Ooze and stuff like that. So it's not it's not like this. It's game one, this like this emblem kills them, but not games two and three. So it's not like we're um You know, like it's not like a guaranteed win if we get to emblem them. Like game one it is though. Uh, I play against Nexus probably less than once a day. So I would say I, I would say I play against it less than one out of twenty times. So no, best of three is not Nexus Hell. Not in the slightest. It it's certainly a deck that exists, but it's not like it's all you play against. I'm a pretty great pyromancer. Don't worry, I brought company. I know 88 ways to keep an open mind. The only non-blue green deck we played against today was the mono blue deck. The other five decks have all been blue green. Um, Go 
get him, buddy. Say hi to my fiery friends. <clears throat> Sloppy technique. So I'm going to be ditching the Daredevil here to look for the land. But, alright. Cool. Game 3. like to have those same cards we just had there. Preferably. You want to mind those same cards? Is it? Yeah. Goblin. We're going to play Goblins tomorrow. I had a donation deck that replaced Goblins. That we're going to play up next with the Grixis Dragons. I don't think this hand's winning. I'd be putting back the shock here. I don't think this is really winning either. Finding the gates would have been nice. That would be nice. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Balder? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Our 24th sub of the day. Y'all are awesome. Welcome to the channel. Cameo with six loyalty already. I'm totally the best pyromantis. Oh, they're so cute. Do not harm my no one asked for your input. Talk about deck thinning with taking lands out. Seek and find. Well, my five card hand is trying. It's, it's trying here. Oh, about turn three Tamio, turn four Reclamation, though. Not so sure about us beating that. I 
<laughs> uh, if Awakened Inferno is it's fifty dollars in paper, then then sell them. It's Say you know it's perfectly fine, friends. but it's not that. Hey, these little guys are great. It's not that good. This is, it's never going to be higher priced than that, ever, in its lifetime. So since we don't have the Ember Cat this time, I'm not going to be able to have the Chandra next turn, the Awakened Inferno. Please no Fog. Please let the Tamiyo die. Please no Fog. Please, no fog. Yay. And as you can tell, I, I did one extra point to the Tamiyo in case they had just like a bounce spell so they couldn't just like bounce one of these tokens and keep the Tamiyo alive. Alright, so they have tons and tons of mana. And they put a whole bunch of lands in the graveyard. Doesn't look very good for us, but Mind and body should move in unison. we're fighting here. So far, so good with no no Ascanta and no second Tamio, unless they play second Tamio, of course. I have just the trick for this. No, that's not good. Do I need to discard this mountain to the regulator? There's not really anything that I'm drawing next turn that's going to help us too much. I mean, I guess negate. Oh, no, that's really not good. After Ravnica Allegiance came out and Wilderness Reclamation was a thing, and you know, like this deck, remember how much like we all thought like... How, wow, Chemister's Insight is so much card advantage, and look how they get to go through the deck so fast with Chemister's Insight, people. and, you know, now they have Tamiyo and Narset, and it's, Chemister's Insight is just kind of laughable. We're not getting another turn there. Not with having Tamio and Ascanta. Well, the negates were supposed to help there. As you saw with those games, we didn't didn't see any negates. And I, I mulled the five looking for them. You know, like I I could have kept certainly reasonable a reasonable seven and a reasonable six. Uh, but they weren't they weren't uh you know, good pressure with negate and so mulligan. I I tried what I what I could. There. When we played Chandra Tribal yesterday, we started with two losses and then won three in a row. Let's see if we can still do that. I don't think Steamkin is as good as Embercat. Okay, our worst matchup, Team or Elementals. Today was the wrong day to play decks that weren't very good against the blue-green decks. 
That's all we all we are seeing. I picked the wrong day to play these decks. Hey, Dan Daniel. Thank you so much. So I'm going to add it. I can add a good amount of mana with having like regular mine. Regulator and the minus here. Don't know what that's really doing for us, though. Okay. I'm getting the hang of this magic thing. Okay. So reach into that ley line thing. You and I are gonna take them out. Sit back and watch it burn. No, I don't have all the cards from the new set, no. Five six is really big. Really, Yikes, really I'm big. Out of here. Awesome, Regley. Yeah, glad you're glad you're really enjoying the Soul Pack Cavalier deck. And no one is telling Paul. Looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. Not been a lucky day, no. I did not play Negates last time. I'm going to play them this time. The five sixes are really difficult to deal with. It's a very good hand for them. And they had turn one land off, turn two another mana creature, turn three, risen reef plus another elemental. Turn four the five six. Turn five Chandra. It's, I don't I don't know how I'm supposed to be doing against this kind of stuff. Uh, we can't can't just catch a break.
Last time we played this in the post war games, uh, they just kept countering my planeswalkers, so I'm going to have some negates to try to help protect my planeswalkers. It's possible that doesn't work out. Alright, we need to draw two lands, get to this fighter artisan so we can hit land drops. I I have been to, to Trail Dust, yeah. Been plenty of, lots of times actually. That was one of my, whenever I was a kid, that was one of my dad's f favorite places to go. We'd go there like once every couple months. Wasn't like, you know, all the time, but like, you know, maybe like four times a year or so. Correct, Mimir. Yeah, the the Chandra Tribal video yesterday did not record didn't record for YouTube and uh, ended up a donation to try it again today. And so we're playing Anyone it again. No. It's really unfortunate this is going a whole lot worse I brought company. than what it did yesterday. Just I mean everything is. I forgot. Hawkeye was in the way, so I was looking over on, on the OBS. And I was trying to play on the OBS. That doesn't work. Don't worry. I brought company. Well, there's, there's no targets in the graveyard for the Chandra minus two. Have they ever just not had Risen Reef? Does that ever happen? I don't know what I'm doing here, but it's gonna be fun. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try something new. We can do this together. So the Novice Pyromancer can add two mana next turn, so I'll be able to play Ugin. Guess I gotta kill that thing though again. We've had better days before. I can't stay, but trust that I haven't really wish that just yesterday's video would have recorded. Would have been a lot better than this. Just every single one of those cards just draws them cards, so they just have a whole bunch of cards in hand. within <sighs> Yeah
Yeah, RMW Waffle, that just take, you know, it was like a two and a half hour video. I certainly considered that, uh, commenting over the muted VOD from yesterday, but that's just, it's just too much. And... And I also got a donation, you know, yesterday afterwards, we had to skip the line donation to, to try this again. Also, so I was going to be playing it today either way, so I didn't, didn't do both. The big problem why this Teamer Elementals deck, uh, if, if I haven't explained it enough, I don't know if I have or not, but if I haven't explained it very well, the reason why this is a problem for us more than other decks is really because Chandra's minus three doesn't kill any of their creatures. That and Risen Reef just gives them so much card advantage, and since they always have three Risen Reefs, it's hard to keep up. We started the early stream today so we could get the extra league in. I just I don't even want to play Magic anymore. <laughs> I just don't even want to. This is awful. There's a card banned in standard right now. Um, Rampaging Ferocidon. Which is an Ixalan. is actually banned in standard. All right, we'll see if we're playing the blue-green deck yet again. Sure looks like it. They have white in there. What do you got white for? This is Bant Ramp. Okay, looks we're looking good this game. We got the chain whirler. Gets a bunch of one toughness things. And our opponent mulliganed. Alright, so it looks like Bant Ramp. Definitely want all the negates to counter Nissa's mass manipulation, stuff like that. Um, Krasis is the biggest card that I'm worried about here. Hmm. Sarkin could be pretty good here. Yeah, Ugin could take out a Krasis. But ho hopefully they don't get too big of a Krasis if we're able to keep their mana creatures in check. I think that's I think that's the, the better way of winning. Uh, big Chandra still takes out a regularly sized Krasis also. I don't really have other things to take out. 
So we'll go with one regulator and a Sarkin. Yes, Moy, before today, this was my favorite deck to play. Before today. I like Chain Whirler a lot. Um, if we didn't have the Temple, if this was five lands without Temple, I think I'm mulliganing this. But the fact that we have the Temple here that we get to play to help set up um, another draw step, we're going to be keeping it. The only non blue green. Oh, this is a Risen Reef deck too. Great. The only non blue blue deck, uh, blue green deck that we've played was the mono blue. Mono blue aggro. Mother Ludi gave us homework. Hey, congratulations, Nagu. Congratulations on the new apartment. Remember this one? Good old shock. There's no way their last card's not Hydroid Crisis, right? It's like, what's the best possible last card? 
Hydrocrisis, yep, that's their card. Not really any reason to play a shock. I don't know, I guess to kill a 2 2. Come on, Chandra, remember that spell. So if we place if we play Star of Extinctions in our sideboard, we're usually getting up to seven mana to cast them. That's I'm the problem. Out. So this isn't really a a Nissa mass manipulation deck. At least we learned that. So we learned we could get to take out these negates again. We didn't really see very much of their deck game one. Do I want Ugin or One Shock? I want a Shock. All right, we're gonna just try to get our Chandras early with help of the Ember Cat. Or using the Regulator to activate multiple times. and see what we can do. Go, Chandra, go. Anyone need a match? No. Too bad. Say hi to my fiery friends. Regulator would be a really nice draw step. It's a lot of basic forests over there in the three color deck. Oh, it's you, 
burning. Hey, these little guys are great. <clears throat> All right, let's keep it going. Go get him, I shocked in there in case we wanted to like Chandra's triumph at end step. But mobilized district doing its job here. I sure have a whole lot of basic forests. For their three color deck. Hmm. Don't worry, I brought company. Cavalier Thorns is such a good card. Wow, that card is good. 5-6 is just so big. The niv Mizzet deck is good, Elijah. Just like I think the Chandra Tribal deck here is good, too. We're just running into our worst matchup that we can every single round with, with the niv Mizzet deck and now with this deck. Oh, Triumph does have a voice line? No, I didn't hear it. I don't keep the, the sound up very loud uh, while I'm talking. I don't want it to, like, you know, go into the mic and also just, uh, you know, I'm, like, usually thinking about what I'm, what I'm saying and everything. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Okay, yeah, that, that was a voice line right there. You're right. Hey, these little guys are great. Hey, Wugji. And Kitty Dexterity. Hey, y'all. Hope you're all have, having a good day. Even though, from my side, even though we haven't been winning any matches, um, y'all have been awesome here. I'm th thank you for everybody still being here, uh, you know, supporting and everything, even though we've had the tough times and... I certainly appreciate it a whole lot, everybody being here, and, and all subscribers, also. A whole lot of subscribers today. Y'all are awesome. So even when we're having a day where we're not winning, y'all are still here. <laughs> Remember this one? All right, so I'm going to have the, the Chandra just lightning strike them. Put it so another another Chandra lightning strike will kill them. I don't know if you can use Prime Sub on mobile or not. I know you, you couldn't before. I did not have Lethal with Mobilized District. They had a blocker that I had to kill. Oh, thanks, Ravager. Hey trees, doing okay, doing okay. But yeah, I I thought they may have fixed that, like where you can now sub. Good game. Hey, these little guys are great. All 
All right, here we go. Starting it off. All right, let's see if we get paired against a non-blue-green deck. No Risen Reefs. Yeah, one more match we're going to play here with Chandra Tribal. If you're just joining with our eight matches, we played against Mono Blue Aggro and seven Blue Green decks so far. With Niv with the Five Color Reborn, we we're just playing against all Blue Green counter heavy decks with a whole bunch of counter spells in all their decks. And that was really bad for us with our sorcery speed, Niv Mizzet Reborns, and everything just getting countered all over the place. And now with the. The Chandra Tribal we're playing against the ramp decks, which is tough for us to contain. This looks like another flash deck. I'll just play the Ember Cap. I don't I don't really know of any Hippie for the Safara decks right there. I I did play a Safara deck uh, before, but yeah, it was it was a lot more. It was it was definitely aggressive. There hasn't been very many card styles that you can buy just with gold. There's been a couple, but not not very many. We got a flyer deck. That's cool. Hmm. take it. Ow. So my plan here is to lightning strike the eagle at end step and discard the ember cat. Looks like God's willing. Oh, Spell Pierce. I guess we should discard one of these regulators. Oh, 
this turn we'll discard a regular next turn also. We'll see if next turn if I'm able to like chain whirler plus shock to, to take down the dungeon guys. That'd be nice. They just have two cards in hand. Hit a land. This is just gonna be bad for you. There you go. Kind of testing for counter magic there. I you know I don't really care if the art fires and gets countered, but if it does get in play, can hopefully hit land drops for us. Exactly what would happen there. Gives them another chance to play a spectral sailor at end step that would be able to chain whirl. That's a good card. All right, so we're at nine life. That's another good card. Better chance that we hit land if I pay a mana. So we'll pay the mana. Sit back and watch ah, we're just gonna have the land anyway. All right, this is looking really good for us. We have the nice card advantage engine with the Chandra and the Regulator. And we now have more mana to actually cast our spells. We got some good removal with the Triumphs. You're welcome, Jacques Steampunk. You're welcome. So the mat Sarkin's not very good against Unsummon. Making a 4-4 four, four token and it getting Unsummoned. I have a Lava Coil there. Um, do I want a Daredevil Unsummon? Maybe not. They probably have like more counter spells and stuff, but I'm not sure if I should be playing Negates. I think I want Lava Coils over Ember Kitties. I don't know about Flame Sweep, though. We'll just play a Negate over an Ember Kitty. And call it a day. Oh, they're going to have Sir, Sir Yulin Drake. That's probably true. Oh, well. Oh, thanks, Co Kozar Lord. Glad you found the YouTube channel and everything. Welcome. Thank you very much. All right, let's see what we got. So you and Drake could be a problem. But just a small problem, though. It is a 1-1. One, 1-1s one. One, ones don't kill you very fast. 
So we're, we'll have like our first fire artisan get countered, our second one get countered, and then we'll resolve the third one. And the third one's going to take over for us. Supreme Phantom. That's the spirit. I think Chandra Tribal is, is, um, I think I'd, I'd have, like, more fun playing Chandra Tribal than, uh, like, kind of overall than the Vampire deck, but I think the Vampire deck's probably a better deck. I just want to burn stuff already. Especially if everybody's going to start just playing blue-green ramp stuff. Especially the more, the more popular that gets, the, the worse for Chandra Tribal. Hey, I've had. I'm telling the abbots. Yeah, I'm telling. Tell me if you've seen this one before. Just Meditate. risen reef Prepare. and a bunch of a bunch of big mana stuff. Bunch of Risen Reef stuff. Remorseful Cleric. Gotta be careful around Remorseful Cleric. Don't want to whirl too many chains. Bad things could happen. I have reached my limit. Hey, Abigail. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of sassy today. <laughs> Wonder if we can get back to a winning record after starting 07. No, don't counter it. Don't counter it. It can't be countered. Don't do it. Don't spell pierce it. Okay. All right, so respectable. Respectable two, three showing there. For good old Chandra Tribal. So with this five match set that we just played here, and Arena takes a little while. Come on, there it goes. So we didn't get like any mileage out of having the negates. Uh, honestly, just you know, like the the yeah, we just didn't get any mileage out of the negates. Basically, never got to draw them. Uh, you know, we played against Nexus, where we would have loved to ha have negates. Like it was very good that we had negates in our deck, but you know, never really got to do anything with them. Um, I don't know. Like besides like Star of Extinction, but like even Star of Extinction against the Risen Reef decks, like they still just have so many cards, and like you know, you're not gonna have cards. I don't know exactly what we want to do in those kind of matchups. That's gonna be the ones like where we're really gonna struggle against of course as you saw throughout uh these sets here i think that we're not really that bad against nexus you know like we we did lose to nexus but the last time we played the deck we beat nexus um i i think that was just yesterday like yesterday whenever we played it we beat nexus i'm pretty sure uh, if not then i was beating it off stream i don't remember which one it was like whether i played against it like in like the practice matches off of stream or if we played it yesterday. But it's it's really not that bad of a matchup with Awakened Inferno. Um I'm pretty sure that was on on stream yesterday. But yeah, so uh two three here with Chandra Tribal. Yesterday on stream we went three and two with the deck, but as we talked about at the beginning of this video, the we had problems with the recording and the the mat the set didn't get it to go up to youtube 
And so, I, again, I really apologize for that, uh, that yesterday's uh, five-match set in Diamond with Chandra Tribal didn't get to go up on U the YouTube channel. Uh, hopefully, um, I'll still enjoy this one. And, again, I'll put the link to the, uh, the Twitch VOD that has the videos of the other matches that we played yesterday. Because yesterday we played some really long games, like the five matches took uh, – it was – yeah, the record was three and two yesterday, and the um, it was like over it was over two hours of playing, like close to two and a half hours uh, yesterday. Some really really good games there. Like there was a really good game against Feather. Um, we played against like an Esper Hero, where two of the games we just flooded out, uh, but one the game in the middle was a really really good long game. Um, yeah, this deck definitely needs twenty five lands. Uh, I would. I'm pretty close to, to moving to 26 lands. We've played, like, you know, missing land drops is really tough, and we've we've missed land drops a bunch. Like, maybe we need 26. Like, maybe we have, like, 26 and play another Novice Pyromancer. Maybe that's what we should be doing instead of the Ember Cats. But, yeah, if, if you have too many, like, mountains, the Regulator helps you out. So, like, the too many land, like... Basically, getting to six mana for Chandra Awaken Inferno is is kind of difficult. You know, like we had a lot of games like we would stop at like four or five lands, not be able to play the Awaken Inferno, and then our opponents would just ramp because of Risen Reef, and they play their Awaken Infernos, and then we lose. Um, but anyway, there we go. Um, Chandra Tribal. Uh, we talked a lot about other options uh, in the deck, also uh, in the other video that I will link. Uh, but thank you so much for watching this video on YouTube. If you're watching this later on, I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. That's it here for Chandra Tribal, and I will see you for the next video.